It's not often that a smartphone leak makes the entire tech world stop and double check the numbers, but this one did. Samsung's new Exynos 2600 chip just showed up on Geekbench, and let's just say, this is not the same old Exynos we've been used to. For years, Samsung's in house chips have played catch up to Snapdragon, but this time, the tables might have finally turned. Hey everyone, Sam here, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe if you love staying ahead of the tech curve. Now, let's dive in because what's happening behind the scenes at Samsung right now could completely reshape the next Galaxy lineup. So, the Exynos 2600 has officially gone public, and the early results are insane. The chip scored over 3,400 in single core and more than 11,600 in multi core performance. Putting it right next to Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, that's a first for Samsung. And when even Ice Universe, who's usually impossible to impress, simply says good, you know something huge just happened. This new Exynos isn't just about raw power, it's about smart design. Samsung has finally nailed the balance between performance and efficiency with a unique core setup. One prime core running at 3.8 GHz, a 6 core cluster at 2.76 GHz, and 3 more optimized for 3.6 GHz. Translation? More speed where it matters, less heat when it doesn't. It's like Samsung finally found the sweet spot it's been chasing for years. Now, here's where it gets interesting. This chip could power around 30% of all Galaxy S26 models. But not everyone's getting it. Reports say Samsung plans to keep the Exynos 2600 mostly exclusive to South Korea, while markets like the US, Japan, and China will stick with Qualcomm's chip. It's a strange but strategic move. Maybe Samsung's testing how confident it is in its own silicon before going global again, but hardware is only half the story. The Galaxy S26 Ultra leaks are where things get wild. Tipsters claim Samsung's upcoming display is about to break records to 35% brighter, 40% more efficient, 60% cooler, and somehow even longer lasting. That's not an upgrade. That's a revolution in display tech. Every color, every detail, every frame, all re-engineered to make you forget you're even looking at a screen. And then there's AI. Samsung's doubling down on Galaxy AI in ways that sound straight out of sci-fi. We're talking about a real-time translation assistant that lets you chat across languages like you're both speaking the same one. A smart clipboard that understands what you copy and helps you summarize or search instantly. A social composer that can turn a single image into a polished post, caption, and hashtags. And the most underrated one, a touch assistant that reads and organizes text right from your screen. It's not just smart, it's thoughtful. But while the Ultra sounds like Samsung's golden child, the rest of the lineup tells a more complicated story. The Galaxy S26 Plus seems caught in the middle again, not as feature-packed as the Ultra, but too expensive to feel like good value. Samsung reportedly debated bringing back the Edge model to spice things up, but backed out at the last minute. Imagine how perfect that would have been, a curved Edge version for design lovers the Ultra for power users, and the base model for everyone else. Balanced, simple, iconic. Instead, the Plus risks becoming the forgotten middle child of the family. And speaking of the base Galaxy S26, that's where practicality meets performance. It won't have the flashy extras, but it's shaping up to be the most balanced phone for the price, around $800, with a cleaner design, strong cameras, and the same powerful chip architecture. It's the one most people will probably buy, even if the spotlight never quite lands on it. The real question, though, is whether Samsung is playing it to safe. The Galaxy S26 series feels like a moment of transition, full of incredible tech, but still unsure of its identity. The Ultra will likely dominate headlines, but the Plus and base models need something extra to spark excitement again. Samsung has the power the innovation, and now even the silicon advantage. But can it turn that into a motion? That's what'll decide if 2026 is a comeback year or just another safe chapter. Because one thing's for sure, between the new Exynos breakthrough, 
Those AI features that actually sound useful and that jaw-dropping display tech, Samsung's clearly not out of ideas. It's just deciding how bold it's ready to be. And if history is any clue, when Samsung gets confident, the entire smartphone industry usually follows.